the second half of The Edge of Night. Brought to you by French's Mustard. Salad complimented a beauty. It was the best salad I ever had in my whole life. Darling, you sound all of 12 years old. Mommy, my daughter Judy. She always pays me extravagant compliments whenever she wants me to do something for her. You know, every now and then, whenever I'm lucky enough to have a, a moment like this, 
I realize how much I've missed. You know, Judy was very young when her mother died. Yes, I know. You told me. Like some more coffee, Bill? No, no, thank you. If you'll excuse me, I'm afraid I have a business call to make. Oh. I'll be as quick as I can. Of course. Meanwhile, it's evident that Jerry wants something from you. So I'll leave her a clear for you. Oh. It's true. I do want something from you. I want you to like me. I mean, I want you to go on liking me. Oh, it, it meant so much for me, to me for you to believe that, that I didn't steal that money from the store. But if you knew the real truth about me, I don't think you could. Go on liking me. Our story continues after this message. I hate to admit it, but Mother was right. I do feel very young and very awkward. Well, you look very young, Jerry, but not awkward. Don't believe everything you see. I was really going to talk to you about some very important things when we were alone. Well, we're alone. Yeah, and here I am with my foot in my mouth. <laughs> when Martha told me that you were coming for dinner, well, the first thing I thought of was how nice it would be to see you again and sit and talk to you. I can almost hear Mother now. If you have something to say, Jerry, just come right out and say it. Well, that can be good advice. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Well, first of all, I want to thank you again. Why, Jerry? Well, I can never really thank you enough for believing that I didn't steal that money. And I've wanted to ask you, well, I need to know why you trusted me when everybody else, including my mother, thought that I took it. You didn't seem to be the criminal type. You didn't arouse my uh, policeman's suspicions. No, no, Anna, I'm asking a serious question. I am serious. I don't joke about my work. As I said, you just didn't appear to be the type. Well, what type am I? Oh, let's talk about you. Well, <laughs> yes. All right, you struck me as being a very nice, very intelligent young lady. Intelligent? Yes, very intelligent. Very personable, very likable young girl who I am sure will someday make an equally charming woman. You make me sound like a demure young thing in a midi blouse. No, I, uh, I hardly see you that way, Jerry. Well, I hope not. Because if you did, you'd be disappointed in me. And I'd be disappointed in you. Oh? In the shrewd understanding I think you have, you see me as anything but demure, anything but innocent. And it's the truth. You know, I, uh, I love to gamble. Yes, so I've heard. And I, I like to drink, sometimes a lot. Well, and, and I, uh, well, I certainly haven't lived my life in a convent. Uh, as a matter of fact, yes. Well, I can tell you that I deserve my reputation. I can tell you why Mother's so worried and what kind of a girl I really am. At least sometimes. I know already. Well, you only think you do. No, I really deserve my reputation. See, the fact is, uh, I've been thinking very seriously of, of taking a trip, going to the races uh, with a man for several days and nights. But you haven't gone. Well, no, not yet. But as I said, I'm very seriously thinking about it. Well, you think about it. Think about it very good, Jerry. Use your head. You know, you don't have to tell me all these things, Jerry, to stimulate my interest in you. And you don't have to do things like this to prove to me that you need sympathetic understanding. You need it. I know you need it. You need it without proving it. It sticks out like a sore thumb. 
Would you pass me the sugar, please? <laughs> again tomorrow for the Edge of Night created by Irving Bentley. This portion of the Edge of Night has been brought to you by French's, the people famous for flavor. The preceding program was pre-recorded. This is Harry Kramer inviting you to join us each weekday afternoon for the Edge of Night.